Hi guys, this is Farai Samoy, and you're watching D O P E F I L E S. Everybody, I am dressed fashionably fabulous today because I'm interviewing the designer doing a fashion feature along with this entire collection. She's standing right here. Her name is Farai Samoy. Hey guys, what's going on? What is going on, Farai? Nothing much. I'm just, I'm actually glad that you guys are here. Like, that's really awesome, you know, no, to have you fun. guys in my space, in my presence, see what I do, which is, yeah, very cool. Thanks for of coming. Of course, we're actually here in the heart of Brooklyn yes. at your studio to right. see your collection. When I first met you at the Stacey Cherie fashion show, I interviewed you on the red carpet. Yeah. Fierce mohawk, but now we're doing the luxurious braids. Definitely. Also loving. Have Amazing. to switch it up a little bit. Really? But this top, I was saying when I interviewed, interviewed you on the red carpet, like you wore the purple one, and I yes. was like, I love that. Yes. And they're actually available on my website right now. And we're also going to see a bunch of your collection right now, but tell everyone, first of all, like um, your inspiration behind creating your fashion line. Well, I'm originally from Zimbabwe, but I was born um, in London, England, and raised here in the States. So there's a lot of history to me and where I come from, and kind of like my inspiration for all my collections is just to incorporate all three things. Um, incorporate like Zimbabwe, to incorporate London, England, and to incorporate the U.S. And that's kind of like where I take everything. Like the whole motto that I use is defined by woman, warrior, and wayward traveler. Just because I've traveled so much and been all over the world. Yes, just a little. I'm ready to be a warrior. Yeah. Let's do it. That's what it's, And it's so funny because um, Beyonce just came out with her song, um, Run, women, the Run the World. And that's what it is. It's about being warrior. The warrior shape. There we go. That's how you <laughs> Now we're warriors. Now we're ready to fight. This collection now that we're oh, yeah. on the show. Yeah. Um, so right now we're looking at um, pieces from the spring summer um, collection. I think that's like really important to allow all types of people, all walks of life, to be able to, you know, afford your clothing. Right. Which is really, really important. So basically, every time you see me on the runway, I'm showing Farai Samoy. And then everything that you find online is Farai by Farai Samoy, which is the pieces like this, which are like fun, and they're more ready to wear. Then another one of my tops, which I really love, yeah, are these two tops. Really fun. So these tops are actually one size. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, one size can fit from extra small to extra large, whatever. And my whole concept is throw on. Like, we don't want to make things difficult. In a day and age where everybody's always, like, busy, running around, right. you don't have time to be, like, strapping this <laughs> on, you know what I mean? Right, look fabulous in 2.5 seconds. Right. These are my Ankara um, shorts. Again, these are like a high-waisted short. You can even pair them up with kind of like what we're wearing, yeah. which are super cool. Um, it has an elastic waist, so you don't have to worry about zipping, whatever. It's just all about making things easy. And then you just have this like really fun belt that you can put on, which is fun. Like I said, I like to incorporate a lot of color into my collections. And this dress, um, I had this one girl wear this dress the other day, and it was awesome. Like, I had to watch her walk away in the distance because the air was just like <laughs> blowing. It was like, this went you know, it was just like, Blowing, and I have like this chain that's going down the front that just hangs. These, these are kind of sexy. Yeah, right. these were. I was listening to some sexy music. I will mm -hmm. say. Um, the whole inspiration was I wanted to make them look like um, kind of like thigh high like right. type boots that were on top of the pants. Um, yeah, you guys saw these on the runway. Again, this is for Ice Moy. So these are like if you wanted a pair, they're custom made. Just shoot us an email, let us know your size and your measurements, and we'll go from there. For Such right a now. good collection. I Thank love the you. color palettes, the shapes, the ruffles, yeah. everything that you did with this collection. Like you took it above and beyond. Thank it's you incredible. so much. Yeah. But tell us more of like your story. Like why fashion? What like what made you just pick this and like just run with it? When you come from an African culture, you don't go into fashion and the arts. You tell your parents that, and they're like. No, you're going to school for sciences, you know, right. health or whatever. So we used to do that a lot. And my, you know, my mom and her sisters and her mom, they all used to make their own clothes. But it wasn't anything where it was fashion. It was more for necessity because you couldn't afford, you know, they grew up in the village. You couldn't afford to go buy clothes. So you bought fabric and you made your own clothes. So what much. did your parents say when you went back and you're like, hey, not quite doing that anymore? Like, <laughs> my parents have always been supportive of me for everything I've done. But they were always like, 
you know, just make sure you have something to fall back on. For me, having a backup plan meant I had doubt, you know, that it wasn't going to work out. And that's not what I'm all about. Have you, like, exposed your line to back to Africa? Have you, like, Yes. And how has it been received? It's really, really well. They actually just invited me to Zimbabwe Fashion Week. And I've talked to other people um, that are Zimbabweans that are kind of doing similar things. And, and we're just kind of forming this pact like sticking together and saying, we can do it, so can you. So we're really kind of like the pioneers in terms of like Zimbabwean culture and stepping out and doing things that are like out of the norm. With this collection, my outfit, I'm feeling sexy, fine, fabulous. So I appreciate it. Thank no problem, you. thank you. Thank you so much. You guys, just let everyone know again what your website is so they can get to shopping. It's www.faraisamoy.com and you can also follow me on Twitter at Fashion Farai. It's not only the signature, it's a, it's a, it's a must. It's You need to, to do, do it at least like by. once throughout the night. I'm at work in like this little tight bottle dress and mm -hmm. like the guys are supposed to think you're so sexy and cool. Mm -hmm. And I'll be on the floor like, <laughs> I really could care less right now. <laughs> Y'all seen it here first at dopefiles.com. You guys have just seen another episode with me, Latasha. Again, many thanks to Farai. Thank you. Thank you so much. And you guys make sure to tune in next time. Oh, power song. Oh,